What we have here are two different stairs, the same height, seven inch risers on each stairway. This one here has a 10 inch tread and this one has an 11 inch tread. And we can see that the stairway is a little longer. This stairway would be 14 inches longer on a horizontal plane if it has 14 treads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then the floor. Fourteen treads. There's a one inch difference in each step, making this one 14 inches longer and this one 14 inches smaller. Here we can see what the difference is going to be if we draw a line straight across the bottom. So these stairs actually line up at the bottom and not the top. If you are going to change a stairway and um, you have a problem with a, some headroom and you make it longer in the opposite direction, you know, you, you start from the bottom and you make it longer, you're going to need to do modifications to the floor. This could be a problem. You might have uh, pipes, uh, electrical wires, and you might have some framing members that you will not be able to move. The stairway might be designed um, specifically for that. And the reason why I'm making the video is to give you an idea about moving, um, about making the stairway longer by increasing or decreasing the size of the stair treads. And this was a question that was sent to me recently. So hopefully this video will help so you can see right here, it's a little longer. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. If you have a second floor and you do not have anything in the way here, then you're not going to have a problem with making the stair a little larger um, or a little smaller. But if you have a stairway like this with a stair well, something that is enclosed, then you might Let's go ahead and take a look at a section here. I simply took a knife and sliced it right down the middle here and uh, give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Headroom is the distance that would be vertically up and down. And I have another video on that. I've made plenty of videos on that. Simply go to the website or type it in. But I believe the headroom measurement is six foot eight inches. Uh, it might be six foot six inches. But this is the problem you're going to run into. If you start from the top and you make the stairway a little longer, and this, this might not sound, seem like a big deal, but uh, I get a lot of questions every year about headroom height and um, can they make the stairway a little longer? And sometimes it's difficult to make my point with uh, some of the people who are a little too stubborn. They're like, I'm building a set of stairs anyway and the people can just duck. You know, they can, uh, the taller people can uh, duck down a little bit uh, when they're walking up or down the stairs, um, but that's really not a good idea. You know, the building codes don't approve it. You go to sell your house and um, find out you can't because you've modified the stairway. So think about that before you do something like this also. Here's an example of what I'm talking about to figure the headroom distance, you would need to take a straight line up the stairs that would uh, connect to the top of each step. And you can always do this by simply laying a board on the top of the stairway because you're not going to be measuring from the nosing. You're going to be measuring from the distance that will be vertical from this line going all the way up to the top. As you can see here, top of the corner of the floor to the line. And if this actually lines up with the nosing, then fine. But most of the time it doesn't. So this gives you an idea about the headroom. And we can see here that we are one step, two steps. We are, we are less than two steps into this stairway. So our headroom here is going to be a little longer. That's not going to be the case over here. This is the stairway, like I said, that was 14 inches longer. And here, here we are into the second step here. This one, we are almost to the back of the third step. So um, the distance here is going to be a lot smaller when we measure it. So we can see right here, again, one step, 
two steps. This is about where we were on the other stairway. And uh, we're way over here on this one. So you can see where you're measuring it. Let's just take a look at the last one here. Here we are, one, two steps into here. So if you have a stairway, and it isn't uncommon to have a stairway, uh, most architects will give themselves as much room as they need for a stairway um, stairwell or for the floors above. So it's not uncommon to have this distance here to the um, minimum uh, headroom height. And I've seen this plenty of times of uh, us building stairs like I used to. You'd build the stairs and then you'd measure the headroom height and you'd be off two or three inches. It would be a little short and then uh, hopefully they would uh, modify it before they built more homes. Um, we do, do this in the models, figure out what was going to work and what wasn't going to work while building the models. So if you have a, um, a section of the floor that um, is providing you with close to the minimal distance here, then you probably will not be able to modify your stairs, make them a little longer. I use 10 inches, 10 inch treads and 11 inch treads in this example, but a lot of times um, I'll come into a situation where someone emails me a question and they're dealing with eight and nine inch treads and they're already dealing with um, eight and nine inch risers. And uh, so you're talking about a almost completely illegal stairway to what most building codes would accept. So, um, you know, and that's the case, you're gonna, you could require some extreme modifications to the building, making the stairway um, cost prohibitive to where you're not actually going to build it. So hopefully that answers your question. And uh, if it doesn't, don't forget to go check out our sections on, at the website on building codes and um, check out our other website. That's stairsforyou.com, S-T-A-I-R-S, um, the number four, the letter U, um, dot com. That also has some uh, great ideas for or more information on building codes.